Hello everyone, welcome to another Work Hub tutorial session. In today's session, we will learn to create customers in our Work Hub environment. A customer is a person who buys goods and services from a business. Creating a customer in Work Hub is a straightforward and easy procedure. To create a new customer, move your mouse cursor to the menu on the left of Work Hub and click on Customers. The customer window will open. Move your mouse cursor to the top of the customer window and click on the button that reads New Customer. Now this will open the new customer form. Now there are two sides to the new customer form. There is the customer details section where you will enter the basic details of the customer. Then there is the billing and shipping address section where you'll enter the address details of the customer. Let's start with the customer details section. Start filling out the form by typing the company name if you are rendering your services to an entire company or the customer name if you're providing your service to an individual. In this example, we assume we are providing the service to a company. So we type the name of the company. GCTU. Now I'll go ahead and provide the VAT number for GCTU. Um, I'm going to type V A T G C T U 123. Now this is not a real VAT number by the way. Also, take note if it is an individual customer you will provide the taxpayer's identification number. That is the TIN number of that customer. Okay, let us move on to the address. So, PMB 200 Tesano. Then, the telephone number for GCTU. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Then, the city in which GCT is located. Accra. Okay, now when you get here where it says website, all you have to do is to provide the link to GCTU's website. If it is an individual customer, you simply provide the link to that individual's LinkedIn bio or to the individual's profile on any other social media platform. So over here, I'm just going to type GCTU dot then provide a zip code already the country has been selected GCT is in Ghana so that's perfect for us then under what group does GTUC fall I'll click on the drop down arrow GCTU is an educational institution so I'll just choose education and then in which currency are we and GCTU going to conduct our business or our transactions? The Ghana City. And the language, English. So now that we are done filling the basic info for GT or GCTU, we will simply click on Billing and Shipping. Now, billing and shipping, we have two sides of, of it. There is the billing address and then there's the shipping address. So, billing address, that is where we send our invoices to. And shipping address is whenever we ship in some goods, that is where we're going to send it to. Um, in this example, we are only going to fill out the billing address for GCTU. So, I'll start with the streets. Tesano. The city. Accra. Provide the zip code and the country. You can just type the name of the country and it, it will appear. So I'll select Ghana. So once I'm done filling out every possible form, all I have to do is to move my mouse cursor to the right bottom of my screen and click on the button that says Save and Create Contact. And it's like, as you can see, it says customer added successfully.
Now, we may be done providing the basic information for the company, but we have one more thing to do, and that is to provide the information of an individual who is going to serve as the point of contact to the company. That individual preferably should be an employee of the company. So I'll start with the profile image. I don't have the person's profile image, so I won't upload anything. I'll move on to the first name and I'm going to type the first name of that person, Pupun. And the last name, Dia. And then the role or the position of that individual in GCTU. I'm going to say the dean. And the email of that individual, so Pupun. At gctu.com. The telephone number of Kweku. And then the password of Kweku. Now, you may be wondering, why do we need to set a password for Kweku? We are setting a password for Kweku simply because every information we've provided here, we are doing so to give Kweku access to work hub. Now we are giving Kweku access to work hub so that Kweku will be able to what? keep track of every business transaction that will go on between us and GCTU. Kweku will also be able to receive notifications pertaining to any business we'll be conducting with GCTU. That is why I said, like I said, he will serve as a point of contact to GCTU. So, I am going to set the password for Kweku. Now, take notes. There are some rules to setting the password. There must be an uppercase. There must be an, a, a lowercase. The length of the password should be 12 characters or more. And you should also add a symbol when creating the password. So, I'm going to create a password for Kweku Dia. So, Okay, so I've created a password for Kweku Dia. Now, there are some options I need to check. So the first one, is Kweku Dia going to be a primary contact? Yes, he is. We want to send Kweku Dia a welcome email, so I'm not going to check this because it says do not send welcome email. We want to send it. And do we want to send Kweku his password? Yes. So I'll check that. Now, the things Kweku Dia is permitted to see we have invoices, yes. Estimates, we want him to see the estimates. Contracts, we want him to see the contracts. Proposals, we do. Support, whenever Kokudia has an issue, Kokudia can come into Work Hub and make his concerns known. Projects, yes, we want Kokudia to see projects. Email notifications, whenever there is an invoice, we want Kokudia to receive an, e an email notification. A credit note, ticket, task, estimate project contract so now that we have seen this form and we realize that every information we've provided is okay i'll go ahead and click on save and finally we have Kukudia's name here now let us check if gctu was created and if Kukudia being the point of contact was assigned to the project was assigned to the customer GCTU. So I'll click on customers. And GCTU, I have a long list of customers. So I'm going to look for GCTU. I know it will be on the 29th page. So GCTU is right here. Oh, as you can see, there is GCTU. And then the primary contact, you can see Kwekudria's name right here, his email and his information. And as you can see, it's under education. So that is it for creating customers. Thank you for watching.